Hey, Viral Community, Jeff here again, and I thought I'd try something a little different this time. You can tell from the title that it's going to be something different, probably appeals to only a select group of people, but hey, it's a service that maybe others would be interested in checking out that maybe uh, would attract some, some, some other people that might be interested in this topic. So, as most people know who watch my channel for any length of time, I have a huge selection of you know christian music christian hard rock christian metal christian pop because i went through a phase in my life um from the mid 80s to the mid 90s where i was really working on my faith and only listened to christian based music for that whole time period so i have a lot of it and i still very much follow it i write for magazines i review it i've played in bands i'm still very much involved in church music everything so and so I have a good chunk of my collection is Christian rock. So I thought, let's focus on that just a little bit. And so what I'm doing is the A to Z's of Christian rock. So um, I'm limiting it to rock, hard rock, and metal. Not uh, going into the pop or any of that stuff. Not going to be talking any kind of southern gospel or any of that stuff. Strictly, this is all going to be stuff from the 80s and above. Because Christian rock started really, uh, got kind of edgy in the 80s. There may have been some hints of it in the 70s, uh, in the early folk music that was cutting edge, you know, some of the stuff, early res bands, stuff like that. But for the most part, well, and we'll be covering those, but it's going to be the bands that are on the edge more so and uh, would fall more into the line of rock, hard rock, really more hard rock. I'm not going to go dipping into, it's so hard, genres nowadays, everybody is like, well, that's not really, you know. I could just say the A disease of Christian metal, but people are going to be, that's not a metal band, you know, so whatever. Christian rock, Christian rock, everything that I consider in there. So um, what I'm going to do is go alphabetically and just, I'm not going to pull every album I've got, but I went alphabetically and it's just vinyl, just stuff I have on vinyl because I have, there's a whole rack of CDs over here that are, you know, A to Z uh, and there's a lot of bands that are not on vinyl. So we're looking at just vinyl, keeping it quick, hopefully quick and simple. And uh, there's not as not that many A's, but I'm sure some of these letters are going to have a lot in it. So let's get right in this. Again, um, it's going to be, you know, some of the definitely on the heavier side of in some cases. So A Hill to Die Upon, if you can read that. They have two vinyl albums out. This one I just recently showed. Uh, they have more than this many albums out, but, you know, so A Hill to Die Upon, very much in, the, in, in a, uh, some, you know, extreme metal, death metal, you know kind of a I almost I don't want to call it Viking metal but you know because they've got the war paint and everything on uh, in a lot of their pictures just kind of makes me think of that um, one of those extreme bands that I enjoy because vocally they're more decipherable than others so and again there's two vinyl releases by them that I have actually I have uh, yeah two main uh, vinyl releases there from them so they're, they're a more modern band, not from the 80s. These guys are still around and have, uh, hopefully they'll put some more. That other album, that second one there is is brand new. Same with this band. New band, This these two albums, All for the King. They have a third album that's in the process now. These two albums have been, you know, in the past few years. Um, overseas band, melodic, hard rock, metal, modern, uh, throwback, you know, just a, a modern metal sludgy at times uh just really have l fallen in love with these guys these guys some of these guys have been in other bands and i've got releases from them in other bands and so a fairly modern band uh, check them out you know not too fast not too slow uh, good uh just good powerful vocals love 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 those guys looking forward to the new album this is one that i only recently discovered maybe a year ago don't know a whole lot about them. They're from overseas. Angelic Forces was nice to find that uh, it was released overseas on vinyl as a loan record. No dust records uh, put this out. So, and this is just uh, it's kind of like traditional metal, kind of a throwback to that, uh, more of a traditional metal sound. Um, little, you know, on the edgier side, not not like glammy or anything like that. Just uh, straight up. There's not a picture on there. I thought there was. Maybe it's just on the CD. Anyway, I believe it's a trio, but ah, that a second. Check that out. That's a fairly new release, like about a year ago. 
Angelica, this is an 80s band, came around in the late 80s. This is the first Angelica album, one of my favorites. It's got Rob Rock on vocals because the uh, Angelica is a Canadian band, and when they came to America to record their album, something about their singer and visas or something, or I don't know, he couldn't come. They had Rob Rock come in, and uh, it's got Ken Tamplin, I think, produced this album, so there's a little bit of his background vocals in there, but um, Rob Rock sang on this, and at the time, nobody, Rob Rock was kind of an unknown. He had done that Project Driver with McAlpine and Tom, you know, and, and Rudy Sarzo and Tommy Aldridge, but other than that, I don't think he was, and he'd done the first Impelitary EP, I believe, so he was kind of an unknown, but I did not know that he, you know, dabbled in, you know, Christian music, so that was, and then since then, it's been very clear in his music that he has. So this is one of my favorite albums. They have a Rock, Stock, and Barrel, one of the other ones on vinyl, and then Walking in Faith is still in the works, I believe, but their stuff is slowly, was slowly going, getting that on vinyl. Um, definitely check out that one if you just like straight up 80s melodic metal, hard rock, whatever you want to call it. Um, another one in the extreme like death metal camp is Antester. Uh, this is Omen. This was a one of those limited vinyl releases from a few years ago, and just one of the few... Uh, really extreme bands that they did early on. Uh, the band itself is uh, what, from the 90s, I believe. And they have a handful of albums out. I think this is the only one that is on vinyl for that. So if you're into the extreme metal, definitely check out them. All right, Applehead. They just re they just dropped a new album. So Applehead came out in the 90s. Uh, Greg Minier from um, Crucified put out this album. Totally nothing like anything he'd played for. Not like his previous solo album just alternative grungy feeling music fell in love with this album back in the day you know then you know they re they re-released his mini album on vinyl and cd and redid some stuff and so he was in the studio and cleaning up some stuff and adding some bass lines and all that and then you know then they dropped this and it made all of us happy so he got back in and recorded a new Applehood album that just came out a couple months ago and it's just great stuff. So he's back with another album. So really, you know, one of those weird bands, Applehead, what the heck? But if you're just like, you know, straightforward, sludgy, rough and gruff, yeah, I mean, whatever, it's just straightforward hard rock uh, with, um, you know, kind of an alternative flair at times. So uh, I have really, really, really loved this album. And I've really been vibing on that album that came out not too terribly long ago. And then the last one, actually, I guess there's not as many A's on vinyl. Armageddon, absolutely just a superb album. I think everything about this album is just one of those. Definitely, it's, I mean, it's late 80s. It's going to have that late 80s vibe. The, uh, you know, everything that was in that late 80s vibe. So not the glam side of thing in the earlier 80s, but the skid rows and stuff like that. And uh, Mike Vance of vocals, just one of my favorite vocalists as far as just the style that he sings with. It's it's rough, but it's not rough, and it's powerful. And the band itself, you know, it's just it's just a superb band. Um, yeah. So, and these guys are from not too far up the street from here. So up in the D.C. area, but you know they haven't done a whole lot recently. Um, so this is like they did this album, and then like many years later, probably even ten years ago now. Uh, they released another album, so they got back together and did that. So there's two albums by them with a big gap in between. Um, I had met the guys, a couple of the guys from this band in 87 when I went to Cornerstone. Uh, Robbie, the he plays drums and guitars and everything. It used to be kind of more his project where he did all the instruments and then they, he had Mike singing in the early days. But then he put a band together and this is a full band release. But anyway, I met him and hung out with him at Cornerstone quite a bit. And so, yeah, great stuff. One of my favorite albums. I'm glad they released this on vinyl. This is one of the early vinyl releases, 2018. So this was uh, released quite a few years ago. So great, great, great stuff. There you go. There's the A's. Uh, we'll jump into B's next. Hopefully somebody out there is enjoying this and just kind of seeing a little retrospective of stuff in the Christian rock realm that is in my collection. Anyway, I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.